everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you some stocking filler ideas. Um, they're mainly for children but you could adapt them if you've got kind of adults that like similar things. You could probably get sort of an adult version. Um, they're all fairly reasonably priced. Most of them come in at around or under £10 and there are some real kind of um, budget sort of bargain ones there as well so hopefully it will give you something that will fit with your budget and give you some ideas for your children obviously i've got boys so these are kind of a bit more tailored towards boys but again you could sort of alter it and get slightly different versions if you have um girls so yeah without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so the first idea is a book of some sort. So um, Archie really likes these um, kind of Greg James books, sort of action-y. Um, so this is the new Greg James and Chris Smith book. So I've got that one for him. Um, but like I say, if you've got girls or obviously like children that are into different authors, and um, you could kind of adapt, obviously, whatever they're into. But a book is really good um, if they're into reading. Just means it keeps them entertained. And um, I would say shop around. A lot of the supermarkets have two for seven pounds. Um, so you can often pick up, you know, if you've got two children, you could get them both a book and it would be sort of seven pounds for the two. So the first idea is just a versatile book of some sort and just choose whichever author or type of book your child likes so that is the first idea the second idea is just a small game or activity of some kind so um i like to get mine to sort of something similar so that they've both got a similar kind of thing in their stocking so i've got a double game and it comes in a really handy little tin and i think this was about six pounds um so that one's actually going to go in henry's stocking and then I saw this in Home Bargains and it's the kazoo game um, where you use the um, kazoos to play a, a well-known song and you get four kazoos and the song cards in there as well. Um, so obviously you could sort of, as many of you, it says two plus players, um, so as many of you want to join in, you could either just take it in turns with the kazoo or you could sort of work in teams. Um, so that's a really good one. And this one is a kind of matching pairs, sort of snap kind of game. Um, and that's a six plus, um, two to eight players. Um, so yeah, just some nice small games and it's just something they can open in the morning and they can have a bit of a play before they kind of open their other presents. So just some sort of games or um, card games or something like that. The next idea is an annual. So these were actually two for £10 from WH Smiths. So I've gone for the Minecraft annual because both of mine like Minecraft and I knew if I was to get one Minecraft and one something else, there would probably be an argument. So I've gone for two the same. Um, they did also have Pokemon ones, they have dinosaur ones, they have kind of Lego ones, Lego friends, all different types. So whatever your child is into, and they're really handy because obviously there's things for them to read but there's also lots of different activities and things so it's just a good way of keeping them entertained and you can kind of tailor it to what your child is into so yeah they were five pounds well two for ten pounds so five pounds each so again if you've got two children you could always mix and match and get two different ones um based on what they like or if you are like mine and they argue you can get them the same it's up to you the next idea is a kind of activity kit. So this one is for Archie and he is into engineering and building things. So this is a robotics um, delta bot. You get all of the pieces and the instructions and you kind of build yourself um, a robot. They do lots of different ones. I ordered this online, but I have also seen them in Hobbycraft and in Tesco and places. So you can pick them up. And um, I think this was one of the more expensive gifts. This was about 10 pounds, I think. I think that was the priciest item that I got. But it's really handy if your child is into building things and engineering, things like that. 
um, it keeps them entertained for quite a long time and obviously it's quite educational as well um, just bear in mind that you do need some batteries and they're not actually included so make sure um, on Christmas morning you've kind of got some batteries or pop those in the stocking with this if that's what you do um, but yeah it's a great one for kind of keeping them entertained but also it's quite educational and um, it's something that they can kind of keep and sort of rebuild at another time as well the next idea is the good trusty lego so i just get the children a small lego set each so i've got the lego technic for archie because it's a bit more complicated you need kind of it moves and it's like a pullback motion and things um, and i've got henry and iron man one it is actually seven plus and he's not seven but um, my husband and Archie tend to help him if he needs any help. I'm useless at Lego, so I'm no help at all. Um, but these just small sets, they're perfect size to go in stockings and they're around, um, these were seven pounds each, but you can get ones that are kind of five or six pounds. Um, obviously you can get more expensive ones if you're wanting to, or if you want it even cheaper, you can get the blind bags where you just get like the mini figures and they're only a couple of pounds each. And tailor it to how much you want to spend. In a similar um, vein to the robotics kit that I got for Archie, Henry really enjoys these kind of craft kits. So these are robot mosaics. You just peel off the foam and you match the colours. So they're really good for younger children for colour matching. You can get sort of paint by numbers as well um, and matching the colours by numbers. These ones are just the, the colours. So four different pictures in there with the tiles and they're just a great way to get them to sit down and sort of calmly do something. Um, and it, they take quite a long time and it just keeps them entertained on Christmas morning. This one is similar to um, the book that I showed you that I got for Archie. Um, Henry really likes dinosaurs, so these are great for younger children. Um, obviously, there's lots of pictures in there, so if they're not great at reading, um, there's lots of pictures to look at as well and sort of facts and things. And obviously, you can read it to them, but it's just a great way for them to kind of learn about what they're interested in and um, it does say on there that it supports curriculum teaching for five years and up so if they're at school i know henry learned about dinosaurs in reception class so it's just a great way of kind of enhancing their learning and finding something they're interested in um so uh yeah it's and um, this was about five or six pounds as well and you can see it's um there's 135 pages in there so it's quite a good size and length for the money and obviously that will keep them interested as well okay this one is just some Christmassy stamps so I normally like to get something Christmassy to go in the stockings um, sometimes I get like slap bands or um, coloring sets um, but I saw these these were 10 Christmas stamps you get in there and I think they were only about 1.99 from home bargains um, what I'm going to do actually, instead of giving the whole box, I'm going to take them out of the box and I'm going to kind of either pop them in a little bag or just wrap them sort of five each um, up because I didn't think we'd really need 20 stamps. So I'm going to actually split that and just wrap them up sort of five stamps each and then obviously they'll share them anyway. Um, so yeah, they're a really nice one. Um, there were lots of different bits and bobs so you could get some of the paint your own window catchers there was the um, Christmas decorations that you could paint, all different things. So check out Home Bargains if you're looking for some Christmassy arts and crafts. And like I say, they were only about £1.99 each, so a real budget-friendly stocking filler. Okay, the penultimate item to show you is a bit of a random one, um, but Henry's really into kind of playing cops and robbers and things like that. And I saw these fake handcuffs. Um, they were only a couple of quid as well. I got them on eBay. Um, and there is a working lock with keys, although you can just release it using the catch. So don't worry if you get handcuffed and then they lose the keys. Um, and they were a couple of quid. Obviously, you could kind of, if they, you, they weren't into handcuffs or whatever, you could get mini Nerf gun or you can get um, maybe some Nerf bullets if they've already got a Nerf gun or targets that you can um, shoot. You could get kind of accessory, um, but 
but I just thought this would be handy if they're playing sort of Nerf at Christmas and um, they want to kind of do a bit of like, um, you know, role play or whatever, cops and robbers kind of thing. So I've got that one for Henry and that's only a couple of quid as well. And then the last item, of course, it would not be a stocking if you didn't have some kind of sweet treats in there. So I've just got a couple of bits, so I've got them a tube of jelly tots each, which were a pound. And then I've also got them both a milky bar, I think it's meant to be a reindeer. Yeah, and these were, I think, two for a pound from the pound shop. So I'm just going to pop one of those each in their stockings as well, just for a sort of sweet treat at Christmas. But obviously you could do um, some jelly sweets, or you could do chocolate coins, you could do candy canes, you know, you can get like chocolate Santas, or you can get these tubes they do like smarties or sweets or you know whatever your child likes um you can obviously adapt and get something uh, a little sweet treat for their stocking as well so i hope you found those stocking ideas useful for your family if you haven't quite managed to get those bits and bobs yet like i say you could adapt it for an adult you just need to get you know a book or something that they are into you can get like the adult lego sets you could get some arts and crafty bits if they're into sort of cross stitch or knitting, anything like that that they're into. You can really just tailor it to meet their kind of hobbies and interests. And um, if all else fails, you know, I'd be happy with uh, um, some chocolate and a little bottle of Prosecco or something in my stocking, maybe some furry socks or, you know, whatever else. So obviously you can tailor it. But those are kind of what I'm getting for my boys this year for their stockings. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Vlogmas number 2 video and I'll see you next week with another Christmassy video. Thanks for watching, bye!